Today, hundreds of people gathered for the fourth annual Officer Daniel Ellis Memorial 5K. Ellis was shot and killed in the line of duty in 2015. Mike Valenti explains how his legacy has shaped the community since then. And that's tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 6. The Officer Daniel Ellis Memorial 5K is known as one of Richmond's most popular and widely attended races. But to many, this event feels more like an intimate gathering. When I came this morning, I just felt like I was going to the fourth family reunion. <laughs> Katie Ellis DeSimone says Richmond has long felt like home. She and Daniel were transplants to the city, but they both graduated from EKU, started their family here, and were active in their church. But in November of 2015, Officer Ellis was ambushed while searching for a robbery suspect. His death left the community gutted. Our community changed that day. Um, I think that we show each other more love, we give more support, um, because we realize that life is short and you really just don't know when will be your last day. Amidst her grief, Katie felt she had to do something to show the community how grateful she was for their support. She didn't know it at the time, but Katie says starting the Daniel Ellis Foundation has helped her heal. You can't control tragedy. You don't know when it's going to affect you, but you can control how you react to it and um, who you decide to be afterward. And for many, the decision to keep a fallen hero's memory alive was an easy one. Covering the news in Madison County, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.